All right, morning everyone. So first job this morning is I'm gonna go and get the ram put in on the effluent stirrer that I've talked about. Um, the guy that made it up for me, he was saying he's actually made up a few um, rams for stirrers. So yeah, seems like it's a common thing. I've got a suspicion that maybe it was an option back when my dad put the stirrer in and he never got it done. So anyways, we've got one made up now. So we're gonna go and put that in. Dad's just heading over there now. And then uh, I'm going to lift that, lift the spreader off, and you know, a few other jobs to get on with uh, before we head away. Also got our last empty cows going today, so that's all the empties gone. There's seven there, so it's going to be good to have them gone, just keep it nice and simple. Everything we've got on farm now is in calf. Splash. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna end up in the drink. Chicken. Starts to get shaky. You get shaky. Me, yeah. So that's the ram in, it worked a treat. So uh, now I'm gonna go and lift the lift the spreader off the trailer and then I'll get this irrigator going, it's right there. I'll uh, turn it around, set it up, and we'll get it pumping. Well, it's the spreader back on its wheels. So it looks pretty good. 
So I'm not going to get to do any more of that probably uh, till I get back from down south. <coughs> so I've just got tomorrow and then I'm going early Thursday morning so I've got some other jobs to do before then so that can just sit there for now. So we'll carry on. Well I've shipped to the irrigator. It's now up there going down the side of the tanker drive. And the stir is going. So we've got it a bit further down than it was before so we'll see if it stirs it up a bit more. But yeah, that ram's great idea. So I've just brought this cheap, um, that's a, a rye and clover mix. Now I've got a few areas just around our last turnip paddock that uh, need a bit of seed. I actually ran out of base, pretty much used it all up, there wasn't much left in the cedar. So I just need to put a bit here. So I'd, if you go back to when we had the flood and it washed that culvert out, there was a pile of branches and rubbish that came out of the stream, the, dig the diggers piled it up there. And then there was a couple of um, logs that we've actually taken for firewood that were there and another pile of branches at that other end. So we actually put them all up there. They're piled in the top of the old effluent pond there, just over the fence. So it looks much better, heaps tidier. This drain's open so it can drain into the stream there. So I'm just gonna throw a bit of seed around here um, to make sure we get this established at the same time that that grass roughly is. And I may even walk up the that sort of dry stream bed up the middle of that paddock and just sprinkle a little bit more up there. So I'll show you what I've been doing over there. I needed a container to you know, be able to scoop a bit of seed out and I had this old petrol container with no, had no lid for it so it works perfect. It's a scoop and I can get my hand into it. So what I've tried to do in this turnip paddock is I've tried to get all the water to actually run into this little dried up stream. So this stream only flows in the winter. Um, last season it flowed all year but that's because it was really wet. But um, so what I've done is I took a bit of topsoil out of there, moved it up to another spot, flattened it out and then just here there used to be quite a ditch was right down to the soft rock. Well I've um, taken a whole lot of topsoil from there and filled this in and I'm just wanting to get a bit more seed on it to try and make it stay there because if we get a bit of rain it will disappear so hopefully get the grass seed to get established in here and it will hold it all it's all you know hold itself together so that's the plan so I'm just about to throw a bit of seed around up here and then we'll be done. I just dulled the blade, went down into the dirt. It happened over there the other day. I normally don't like cutting on the ground, so um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna just wring it and then I'll split it up into thirds once I've wrung it, you know, once I've wrung it up. So yeah, it's a pain. Yeah, I really don't like cutting on the ground because, yeah, you hit the dirt. I'm just gonna shoot back to the house and sharpen it. When you sharpen your own chainsaw, you definitely don't like hitting dirt. So, sharpen it back up. So I'm just going to cut rings. So what I normally do is cut rings and then, and then um, cut them up into quarters or thirds or halves, whatever I'm going to do. So, yeah. So I'm just cutting up a bit of wood. Obviously, because I'm going, like I've said, I'm going away. So Suzanne wants to split a bit of wood. So I need to cut these uh, four logs up into blocks for her essentially because it's gum so it, it's pretty heavy gum is even just that piece there is pretty heavy um so but it's more manageable much more manageable than a than a whole um ring well i've done three didn't take me very long 
So I just need the tractor to roll them over. I've got this one here to cut up still. Um, yeah, then quarter them up. But man, that 500 eyes is an animal. It's a really good chainsaw. Um, so now I'm gonna, because I need the tractor to roll those over, I'm actually gonna go and feed out silage to the cows. And I need to have a little rearrange over in the barn because I think so then with some, some firewood in the barn while I'm gone. So do that. And I also can dissolve some urea because dad's gonna spray some urea on while we're gone. While I'm gone. So yeah, just to keep it ticking over. So yeah, it's been a good productive day today. So we shall carry on. Irrigate is doing its thing. So we call this kind of irrigator a traveling irrigator. I don't know if you can see it, there's a, a cable da going down in front of it. It's got a ground anchor and it um, it just pulls itself along. So that's how we pump out of the pond. The pond is just down there. There's a pump in that and it's coming up through the pipes. And as it turns, it winds itself along. So pretty simple. That's how we get all of our air flowing on. We don't need to use tankers or, or anything like that. It's all done with the irrigator.
Well, that should keep it busy. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So we're heading off on uh, Thursday. So tomorrow is Wednesday. So that's going to be it for this video. We're going to get back and catch up with the kids, see what they've been up to. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you somewhere else on the farm. See ya. Dinner time! Dinner time, pack it up! <laughs> Dinner time! <laughs>